Just remember, whoever does the recap, remember we hit level six. I thought we were at level seven. One of these days, you guys, oh, you're, fuck just, right. you're gonna, you're gonna get me. Like especially if I'm waking up three minutes before. You <laughs> but, okay, you guys are level seven. Okay, you guys are going into what town was it? You're like the last town. Yep. Okay, the last town. Hold on, and then. Great. We're at the and top of Castle Ravenloft. <laughs> yeah, looking down. On the outside we, of the building, <laughs> you have nowhere to go and no climbing gear. I see Strahd's just... corpse falling down into the mist below. Yeah, last session yeah. you said Strahd was like putting a knife to his own throat or something. <laughs> it's like, no, it's really weird. It's like there's like a sunroof. You just see him changing a lot. He looks back <laughs> over his shoulder. <laughs> gives us a wink. Changing. <laughs> Give Fimrak a wink. There's a... Uh, oh, Vimrock. Um, there's... It's Pride Month next month. And... Um, oh, nice, man. Congratulations. Thank you. And, um... There's a... There's a company... Like, it's through the people that make magic, but they do something called Secret Layer. And they're doing a Pride Month Secret Layer for magic. So it's like magic cards. Um with Pride Month in mind, and oh my god, they are doing a there's a card called Bearscape which is pay two and exile two cards from your graveyard and create a 2-2 two -two green bear token and this is the art for it <clears throat> everyone's wow. hoping that they make a bear token <laughs> with the same art Dude, that's such a troll. There's no way that that's not actually real. I swear to God, it says There's copyright. No Boom, right it's, there. It's First look at Pride across the multiverse. That's so hysterical. Hey, you gotta lean into it. Right? Rant about rainbow washing. Rainbow washing, like they just like fuck shit up with rainbows. So no, it's like sports washing or green washing. It's where companies like pay all this oh, service yeah. to Wizards of the Coast is great at every single type of washing without solving any of the actual underlying problems it annoys I me I've always said just uh, <laughs> sell a product people want <laughs> it's a great deal because mana confluence that comes in there is like a $40 card and it's a $40 set so everything else is basically free there you go uh, okay so, <clears throat> um, who wants to do a recap? I'm going to blink like 10 times and then let's get this started. Uh, recap someone. We got our fortune told, and there were lots of those. So I'm not going to repeat all of that because I can't even remember it. Um, we also talked to a bunch of the Vasanti about if we could get out of this place and they said probably not really and don't buy any potions from any other Vasanti because they're the disreputable sort who are just scamming you uh, we slept and then after everybody got over their hangover or lack thereof we headed out on the road where we met a revenant and after some discussing back and forth we handed over an orb that I think Vemrak, did you have that or was it someone else? Yeah, yeah yes, Vemrak had an orb. Sorry? Yeah, it was me. It was okay, me. cool. Um, the Revenant had told us that the orb was bad and somehow tied to Strahd. And so I kind of convinced Vemrak based on the Revenant being a Revenant, we should maybe trust him to take the orb and destroy it and the revenant headed on his way uh the revenant noted i think the mad wizard note was from the revenant or maybe not but he also recommended another place for us to go to that we wrote on the map and then we headed out towards these this windmill that we may or may not have the deed to and may or may not have more of those meat pie sisters at okay uh thank you there the pinned message in the D, &D eve online it goes over the full reading 
that you guys had, so each individual character, and then the uh, one for the group as a whole. So I would say, until you're really familiar with those, um, I'm going to be constantly dropping little hints or clues and kind of expect you guys to um, keep up on those, as because there's a lot of them, um, it could be easy to just pass on something um, if you're if they're not fresh in your mind. So I would skim them or at least read um, the actual like clues. So the obvious one today, um, there's a card that tells of the history, knowledge of the ancient um, will help you better understand your enemy. Um, it's the Seven of Glyphs, the charlatan, and it says, I see a lonely mill on a precipice, the treasure lies within. Um, so uh, things like this will come up, and I don't want to have to always just poke you guys in Discord like one of you, like, hey, don't forget this, don't forget that. So uh, I have not really used, uh, I think it's called Inspiration. Is that what it is, Grim? Or I think it's Inspiration. The thing where you uh, do a role-playing thing and get a dice re-roll or <clears throat> add? Yeah. Yeah, but for now that these are kind of active and going, um, for those that remember, it's basically like a free reroll on most checks, I'll say. I don't, I'm not really going to like make it fun and then be like, nope, it's not going to work there. Um, so, that being said, you guys had sort of stayed on the, if you're on the game map, which it looks like most of you are, um, don't forget that the area that you're in is heavily mountainous. Um, now, looking north, though, you do see that lake. Um, you do see most of the sort of area to the north um, because you're now sort of coming down from the mountain uh, in, in a way. However, you branched off a bit at a fork in a road to sort of hug a part of the mountain and now you've come up to a windmill that I posted a picture of in the last session uh, which I will repost now uh wow um and then I will reread a text about the windmill so uh, the old road transitions here from being a winding path through the Balanic Mountains to a lazy trail that hugs the mountainside as it descends into a fog-filled valley. In the heart of the valley, you see a walled tower, a walled town near the shores of a great mountain lake. Its waters dark and still. A branch in the road leads west to a promontory atop which a perch, atop which is a perched, dilapidated stone windmill. Its wrapping wood veins stripped bare. Um, as you get closer, you notice that the onion-domed edifice leans t uh, forward to one side as though trying to turn away from the stormy gray sky. You see a gray you see gray brick walls and dirt-covered windows on the upper floors. A decrepit wooden platform encircles the windmill above a flimsy doorway leading into the building's interior. Perched on a wooden beam above the door is a raven. It hops about and squawks at you, seemingly agitated. Um, so I do want to... Yeah, the picture is accurate. Uh, there is sort of that, like, exterior wooden platform... Um, around the in between the first and second floors if you will um and yeah you guys are going to this is a really small map uh, hold on i need to why is that happening i need to reset fog of war on this map give me one second is it fog Okay. And what I'll do is I'll move you guys actually. Okay, I'm not sure why that's happening. That's annoying. Um, stand by. It's there's an issue here with a wall, and it's giving. What? Hmm. 
reset one more time, sorry guys. I think it may be Arena's token that's throwing it off. Okay, so I'm going to move you guys here. So you're specifically kind of looking down at the road. This is the the windmill itself. Um, disregard, you know, some things. I don't know what you can see. I never know. Um, but you guys can be as far or as close as you want um, to this. I do have additional maps as you get closer. But you guys are free to do as you will from here. Arena is kind of like walking down this road. And she mentions that she's never been down this way before. Um, she's heard of this place, but doesn't know much about it, and she's just kind of trailing behind. As you guys do get closer, she seems a bit more just alert and on edge. Um, not for any particular reason, it seems, but just she's getting close to a place she's not been, and it was, according to you guys, sort of in this fortune telling that you guys had, so it seems to be of some type of importance. So, take it away. Yes, continue moving on towards this place. Okay, I have a real up close map here. I just didn't know if you guys wanted to do something specific from a further vantage point, so be real careful moving all of you. Is the crow it's doing hard. anything? The crow is there. You should see it. Um, right? Do you guys see a crow here? Yeah, yeah, you should. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's it's not being overtly loud. Um, uh, like it's not echoing through the valley or anything crazy, but it's it's definitely just kind of getting up here, kind of jumping back and forth, um, making itself known to <clears throat> whoever's close, and it just seems to be sort of uh, agitated, if you will. It seems out of place for sure. It's, it's unsettling um, in general. Is there a reason I can only see 15 feet? Um, I think it's dark here, which it shouldn't be. Give it a second. Mm. So one of our tarot cards said that we had a lonely mill on a precipice and this seems like it might match that worst case scenario i could just deselect my character to see everyone else's vision i got you i'm looking on it there you go thank you Uh, sir, you can talk to animals, right? Or, sorry, Vimrak. Vimrak, you there? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was washing my hands. Uh, yeah, I can. Um... So, I was trying to find it in my features. Yeah, I'm going to virtually cast uh, Speak with Animals. Okay. So it says you gain and uh, you gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts for the duration, just like I do with the horses. So, do you guys mind hanging out for ten minutes while I do that? Go for it. How close are we to the raven? Um, that's up to you guys. Five feet, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like. Okay, I'll virtually cast it. Okay. And uh, wave to the raven and say. Hello, friend. Uh, so I want to... I don't want the, the 10 minutes has to go by before you're saying this, right? Correct. Okay, so 
uh, in the first couple minutes you guys are out here, there will be some shifting inside that you'll notice. Um, the most perceptive of you, so um, Royce and oh. what's that? Oh yeah, I guess there are windows. Can we see from our angle? Like, is it light in there or dark? So they're they're pretty caked over in gross windows. Um, in general, they are windows still, but um, it's it's there's no kind of flickering lights that you see it's it's relatively dark uh, from what you can tell um but perception wise um all of you sort of hear shuffling here and there uh royce you specifically can tell that it is on the second floor and possibly on the floor above i assume you guys aren't just kind of outside talking loudly or anything crazy but uh there seems to be no <clears throat> agitation done by your guys' presence minus the the bird and overall the bird's not just freaking out for the entire 10 minutes there at, at a point it feels like maybe it's <laughs> it's uh it's uh point has been made and it's kind of just staring now and kind of squawking here and there but um let me check something really quick Okay, so, um, yeah, so that'll that'll happen over that ten minutes. You guys will just be sort of informed that there's movement on the second or third floor. Um, but the first floor, from what you can tell, maybe it's thicker and there's no windows and it, you can't hear it, but it seems to be quiet there. Um, Rice, I'll say that even a couple times you get the um, sense of a of a voice um, over brief periods of time, like a. Um, like a uh, a woman's voice you can hear a couple times here and there um, okay. so just be aware of that and then your commune with animal or your speak with animal um, happens and then what would you like to say or what would you like to try and um, oh damn it that sucks um, <laughs> fucking we... birds on top of the door um, all we can see is a cart some baskets and stuff yeah. okay um, so I'll just, I'll wave. It's a raven, right? Yes. So I'll wave to the raven and I'll get somewhat close to it and I'll uh, say, hello, friend. Are you watching over this place? Is this where you live? So as you get closer, it kind of, um, very, in a, like, almost like a friendly manner, kind of like jumps like three or four little jumps forward, um, sort of to the end of its little little perch that it can get to and it kind of cocks its head and then and then it, it says to you um it just says like evil 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 like three times uh, i i can assure you i'm i pose no threat to you I'm just simply traveling through these lands um it it, it flips around um and then with kind of like a <laughs> like a Almost like a pointing sense, like it extends its beak towards the uh, towards the building. Um, kind of holds that pose for a second, and then kind of flips back around in all these little hop motions, and then repeats again, "Evil, like beware, evil." What's it saying? It's saying that there's something bad inside of the inside of the windmill. It's not telling me too much. You say there's... So I'll turn to the raven again. You say there's evil in inside of this place? Is it something that wants to harm us? No, um, looks like at you specifically, and, and this is like, yes. You kind of get the sense of like... So it's it, these are always based on... The creature's intelligence. <laughs> so, yeah, right. um, you know, you're getting the sense of of like, be careful. Um, uh, it, it definitely is coming off as like it's a warning. Um, so, if you want to ask specific questions, it might know something more. But you would just kind of up to you to like figure out maybe what it may have seen or not seen or what it can do. Uh, I'm going to describe the meat pie lady. 
Uh, to the Raven, because I forget exactly what she looked like. Mm -hmm. Um, I do, as Siri does. Um, and just say, you know, and ask the Raven if that woman is inside. Um, it like thinks for a, a couple seconds. Like it's a noticeable amount of time goes by. You can all most of it's like little bird-like mannerisms sort of stop, and it and it's like really thinking, and then, um. It, like nods its head like three times and then says like yeah like three three of them all like three of them are here so I'll turn to the party and I'll let them know that there's the meat pie sisters live here and there's three of them and they're bad yes and they're bad well, uh... how do you guys want to proceed could I do any sort of check in character to see if three creepy ladies is important to me? In terms of... I as a person know what they are, but I'm trying to figure out if my character would be able to, like, given his history of supposedly hunting things, would be able to recall anything about that. With the confirmation of more than one, um, the like a coven comes to mind. Um, so possibly some type of spell casting group family, if you will. Um, so yeah, I see what you're getting at. Like, like I know exactly of, what this is, but I'm trying to figure out in yeah. character what I would know. Yeah, I, I'll say you can. You can you can give that information. So I'll I'll turn to the group and say if if this is three of that same wretched creature, this is some sort of coven of hags, and if they're all together individually, they might not be too difficult. But if we go in there, we need to be aware of anything out of the ordinary. They usually enjoy bargaining and trickery and spell casting to try and get the upper hand. Do you think we should try to surprise them? Wait? Or should we just I mean, go for it? If this raven doesn't serve them, they I mean, we've been standing out here and I'm assuming they'd know we're here if they are what I think they are. I'll ask the raven to have you seen any children around these parts? Or have you seen have you seen these three bring any children around these parts? Um, the same kind of head nodding and then the same sort of pause. Um, you're not sure of the timeline on this, but give me one second. Um, the raven sort of uh, shakes its head again and then um, actually does the same kind of pointing but seems to be well do a perception check on or do roll a wisdom check for a handle animal or speak with animal a wisdom or animal handling do what's well, it's, it's space do go ahead and roll animal handling is fine Okay. Yeah. That's fine. What do we got here? Okay. Uh, with the check, you still you 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 kind of notice that the it's not the exact same sort of point, if you will, with the beak and the body language that the raven had done initially. Um, this time it seems to be kind of angled more up, although subtle, um, sort of maybe at a higher point in the um, structure behind you, and, and the raven says, yes, three. I'll turn to the group and I'll say, I'll just tell them that I think that there might be children inside. Alive or dead? Dead. 
I'll turn to the raven and ask him if the children have been harmed, to his knowledge. Um, not sure, um, but the raven saw them alive. I'll tell that to the group. So maybe we can rescue some kids? There's potential. We might be able to bargain with them as well, if Toto is right about what this is. If we can eliminate them or drive them off, that's probably a better deal than making a bargain. Do you know what their weakness is, Grim? Or, uh, excuse me, Toto. Um, they don't have a ton of weaknesses outside of the f of their sort of so, their coven abilities. So physically, it kind of depends on the type of if these are hags. They're not necessarily great at physical combat. Um, so if we can pile on to one of them, we may be able to knock one of them out and reduce their more devious tricks. Um, it's in my car. Hmm? Sorry, I'm talking to my wife. Oh. Um, so if, if we're going to go in there and we get into an altercation, I'd recommend we try to eliminate at least one of them as quickly as possible and then see if the others flee or if we can just keep focusing. Because if we split our attentions on them, They'll probably force us into a really bad position. Do we... So what is our plan here? Do we want to attempt to talk to them at all, or do we just want to go in and start swinging? Is there any entrances um, on any other floors above the first floor? Um, you can scout around if you want to move around. I'll go ahead and quickly. So as you as you kind of go around the building itself, you, the first floor is without any exterior access except for the front door. Um, however, the floors above uh, the second and the third have um, four windows apiece on them. And but there no, is like sort doorways. No doorways. There is a scaffolding that's somewhat put together. I will move all of you over one set so that you can see the scaffolding that's kind of on the second floor. It's somewhat Yeah. Created. And then at the top barely there, see through the door. Can you on one? Yeah, oh, son of a bitch. I don't think it's, uh, it's on this one. I don't think it's enough to really it's just, see much. Yeah, it's just you barely see a line through there, just so you know. Gotcha. Yeah, these are all the. This is all the stuff from the conversion. So, would it Boundary. be possible to? Go ahead. Uh, would it be possible to get up to the second floor easily? Um. I mean that. Uh, Easily, I'm not sure how to answer. That just depends on what you guys would like to do. But uh, the the overall sturdiness of of that of that surrounding scaffolding is up for debate. So, I mean, yeah, if you could climb on each other's shoulders, or if you had a way of climbing, roll in athletics or a climb check or something. Um, yeah, you presume there's there's ways to get up there. It's just a matter of how quiet or how efficiently, or if that's going to hold. But I wonder yes, if my sir. thorn whip can, like, fucking use it. Like, <laughs> Just Jesus pull you Christ, out. Like a, how does that work? Fucking Indiana Jones robot <laughs> bullshit <laughs> druid <laughs> asshole. <laughs> you fucking have dope. to get an asset for a giant boulder to come falling down and kill you. <laughs> the thorn whip is mightier than the sword. <laughs> Go in there and start ripping out hearts and shit.
Otherwise, do we have any climbing gear on us? Does it look like there's an opening anywhere? Like, if we get up there, we could see in? Uh, there's windows. Oh, but, windows. Okay, yeah. Um, again, they're, they're caked over. They're, they're not, they've not been cleaned in a long time. So. Um, I'm going to ask the raven and say... Uh, I'm going to ask him if I could use him for his winged sight. See if he... See if he'd be willing to help us get a uh, better view. Because I can cast B Scent on him if he's willing. Uh, what are you. Uh, you're going to cast what on him? I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to ask the Raven if I can. If he would help us uh, fly around and try to give us vision inside of the windmill. Um, I can cast B Sense. Okay. Um, he. He's gonna tell you that there's he doesn't like he doesn't nest here he doesn't he doesn't there's no real way inside that he's aware of. He's like he he mentions that he's perched like all over this building at times, um, but he's never found a way inside and, and doesn't particularly want to go inside. I yeah I'm I'm not asking him to I'm do like asking him to do a circle around the building like to fly in like a fly like 20 feet 30 feet and then just just take a peek yeah essentially circle the building as he's flying okay and you and then you're gonna have a way of basically seeing yeah i linked it in chat okay touch, touch a willing beast for the duration of the spell you can use your action to see through the beast's eyes and hear what it hears and continue to do so until your action and can okay. Whatever. Yeah, he's willing. Okay, I'm gonna ritually cast that. On. Okay. Um, you're gonna have a complete shock of <laughs> visual and auditory or visual uh, sensation here, uh, Vimrak, considering how far you can usually quote unquote see. So you'll deal with that over the first couple seconds uh, of just remembering what life was like not that long ago, and then this bird will sort of take flight and then do uh, uh, a, a couple circles around um, the structure. Uh, you'll notice in much better you know, detail here the, the windmill, the actual sort of uh, the gearing or the turning part, whatever the fuck you'd call it, um, is, is very uh, broken down. You, you wouldn't suspect that it's running just because it seems very off balance as pieces are missing, and it seems to be kind of hanging in the... In the lowest point, um, the heaviest part is just kind of keeping it from moving. The the top of the building is is intact overall in terms of the dome, um, but there are some very large like structural cracks um, in the structure itself. Um, some of them from top to bottom, so it, it seems overall uh, very unstable. And then the windows, um, you confirm that they are uh, very caked over very dirty um it seems like that grime at least from what you can tell is on the outside so there's a chance that maybe it could be cleaned but um is there anything else you're looking for specifically I'm trying to peer into the windmill can none we see of, none of the windows are going to be clean enough to see in um okay. at, at the current point okay and then he'll take a you know, like a minute or so to kind of flap around and and then he'll come back down and, and he'll um, kind of perch where he was. Okay. So I'll relay that to the group. It's too... The windows are too dirty to see inside. We're essentially going to have to go in blind. I'm, I'm going to walk over to Arena and say, I... If you'll indulge me, I have some maybe very silly questions for you, but does this property fall under the legal purview of, of Barovia? Like would would your father have had any like legal sway over the ownership of this windmill? Um, she's puzzled by the question overall initially, but she trusts you and she's you know in debt so she immediately is just kind of like pondering this as best she can and she she says I I, I don't 
think my father had much sway outside of the city walls of, of Barovia itself. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, she's like, just personally, this place looks very old. It reminds me of what we would call, like, you know, the the ancient structures. Like, it's 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 not something that someone's built anytime soon. I just I don't know. Um, who's okay. I guess Is, leadership it would fall under. Does this look? Would you recognize this as the Durst Windmill? She doesn't know the name. Okay. And then I guess my last stupid question. If somebody has the deed to a piece of property around here, like physically has it, does that mean they own it? Um, this question, she's uh, much less like caught off by she... In the same vein of sort of these ancient places, uh, typically when they've gone sort of unused or just forgotten in time, which she mentions is there's hundreds of places like that, that typically, yes, um, because it's it's difficult to keep track of things outside of the larger cities especially, um, if someone were to own a deed or, or anything in writing um, from the time that it was built, um, they have a pretty good sway on the public opinion of who owns something, basically. And that's kind of what it comes down to. There's not necessarily like a governing body that tracks all the stuff outside of the bigger cities. She says mainly like Valaki, where where there's a lot more record of that. So Okay. So this may be a really stupid idea, but if we get caught up negotiating with these people inside it all. I think we might have the deed to this windmill. Um, I'll go so far as to confirm it. So I think you were one that did a, a loop around it. And you'll notice sort of, I'll just say on, on one of the, the forward facing kind of um, first floor sort of... Uh, accents if you will you see the same coat of arms that you see stamped onto the deed that you're holding in your hand and, and while it's not been you know washed away or kept clean um you still do after kind of peering at it for a while you can confirm pretty certainly that this is um, almost certainly the durst family windmill the one that was pictured and the one that you guys have paperwork for So should we try that approach first, Toto? And if so, what are we trying to accomplish with the deed? Uh, best case, make who has, whoever is in there leave and claim ownership of the windmill and everything inside of it, including if there's children. Um, they're under our, you know, protection. Uh, if that doesn't work, at least use it as a distraction to get ourselves in an advantageous position for any fight that may come after. Okay. Would you like to heed this endeavor? I can certainly try. We should probably go in with a, a sense of confidence, though. <laughs> if this is going to work at all. So if y'all are, do we want to prepare anything before we go in? Well, I was thinking maybe I could try to get to the second floor and just kind of wait above. Uh, in case anything goes wrong, I can always go in through one of the windows. I mean, I could, how high is the platform on the, like? Yeah, let me see if there's any dimensions here given. Oftentimes they do tell me. Three feet. <laughs> it was a dwarf windmill. Because I could probably. I mean, Vemrak's seven feet, so I could probably lift one of you guys up. You could just toss me up. Your strength is crazy. So it does say that the. It's rather tall. It says that the. 
the ceiling on the first floor is eight feet high. So, eh, it's, they're probably Ten foot. pretty standard, yeah. It's, it's probably about 40, 45 feet tall in its entirety. Do you want me to lift either one of you guys up there? Yeah, I'd, yeah you can... I'd like to go up there to you. Okay. Yeah. So if I can also jump five feet. Vemrak will uh, lift up the robot and the rogue. <laughs> one yeah, one in each arm. Uh, which window or which spot do you guys want to go into? Because these are not congruent areas here. They don't connect very easily, if at all. Yeah, I want to go in from like this side. Okay, so you want to be up here, basically? Yeah. I'll be on okay. the other side. Okay, which spot? Because there's no real easy window space for you. I'm going to be right here. Cool. Okay, and You've that's... you also got some kind of climbing stuff with, with, as a ranger, right? Um, I'm going to say don't with know. the help of someone as strong as Vimrat, there's not really a challenge to get up. Um, I will say just... You can tell that this is holding your guys' weight, but um, there's definitely a sense of falling that <laughs> you're kind of getting perpetually as it just doesn't seem super steady. Whatever's left, you assume, is the strongest of what was there originally, um, but you're not super sure-footed. So, yeah. Just you guys so you know, I'm 286 pounds. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, like, if I'm going to be up here, I'm going to be real careful. Okay, how much do you weigh, Royce? Uh, how do I see that? Let me see if you added it. I added it in my biography. You weigh 195, it says. Okay, uh, it's on the biography page, and then you can scroll through stuff. Um, Observer, you are uncomfortable up here and are defaulting more to you'd rather be down. Um, the wood is sort of creaking, like actively, while you're there. I'll be holding on to the, like, um, the windmills, like the window, to like. Okay, to just kind of some alleviate weight. some of that. I'll yeah, say that I'm that that very strong. Okay, that creaking subsides a bit, but just realize that it you would default to if you're not alleviating weight platform here on is, is actively is actively trying to drop you <laughs> so yeah um cool awesome okay. so once you guys sort of start to i guess not i'm gonna say like touch the building but so sort of it's it's clear that you guys are going to be entering or doing something here the raven does fly off do you want to do anything before or like as it does that um uh vimrak i assume it's not been too long so you still oh. I'll look to the Raven. I'll just say, uh, he said he doesn't reside here. Whereabouts in the forest do you live? Um, he strikes, it, it strikes you as odd. He says he doesn't live in the forest. Um, and he'll be advising someone on, um, your guys's decision to enter. And then, um, he, he flies off towards, like, to the north the northwest kind of down the mountain who is it too late no go ahead uh who who are you going to be talking to you get the feeling that he for the first time since you've spoken to him there's uh, a disconnect or there's some type of it seems like a mental decision to to not tell you Do you work with the man in the castle? Uh, you get the same. You get the same sort of. Uh, uh, well, no, it, he, he's a pretty confident no from that. Yeah, you said northwest, right? Yeah. No, the castle's to the east, if I remember right. There you go. I'll, I'll ask him. Uh, the person that you're going to inform is this someone we should meet? Um. Yes. Do I have a uh, rough idea of like where Northwest he's talking about? 
Yeah. So if you're if you're on the map, I mean, basically you, it's flying towards Valaki. Okay. Um, and I'll ask him, say like the person who he's telling, uh, where can I find this individual? The same. It's anything specific to this individual. It's. It's it's like maybe wanting to respond and then it, j it just simply doesn't. Um, it it seems like you're not going to get anything specific about um, this person, okay. minus okay. the fact that there's a person. Okay. Okay. And the final question would be: um, yeah. This individual are they interested in, in the removal of these three beings? Um, no. Okay. No, it, you get the sense of it's more of just like a person that likes to be in the know. Um, so either uh, you don't you don't get the idea that the, the, the raven is here for you. Um, it's just kind of here for anyone that approaches. But um, you get the idea that this person is just interested in who would be here potentially. Um, and then and then it, it seems as though like the raven's like, hey, I see you guys are gonna not listen basically so um i'm gonna go kind of relay that done so observer you have the easiest access to a window you could i want to look through it and before okay. like opening or anything i just want to be very careful and just see if i can spot anything on the other side I remember, I don't have dark vision, so if there's anything not lit up in there... Okay. You're going to have to do something to clear off... There's enough dirt and just grime across the window. Same for you, Royce. Um, you'd have to... I know you can't spit on it. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if you <laughs> carry water. <laughs> I actually do. Fuck. <laughs> but... Uh... Uh, you'd have to do something to kind of clean away or scrape away some of that 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 dirt and grime. Yeah, I've got a water skin on me that hoard, holds four pints of liquid. Okay, so if you want to use that, just explain to me um, what you're going to do. And then Royce, you're kind of in the same boat over there. I will say with Royce, it's gonna it's gonna involve. Well, you're pretty nimble, but it's still going to involve, uh, I'll call it an athletics check. Um, or if you want to do acrobatics, eh, probably acrobatics, it's a bit higher for you. And you're just going to have to kind of like bend your body a bit to get over to that window and not fall down. So, um, is that the window right there? Yes. Yeah. Um, so observer, I'm sorry, what are you doing observer? You said the outside is grimy, not the inside of the window? Well, you know the outside's grimy. You're not sure if the inside is. <laughs> so. Um, you said uh, the I'll... plan was that the other guys are going to go in and try to talk with the hags or whatever they are. Oh, right? okay. Yeah, I thought we were just waiting for them to okay, go you in. Guys are waiting. Sorry, I'm, playing I'm just going to give them some time just in case. Okay. I'm going to move the raven, and you guys are free to do as you will. Uh, Rena kind of looks and notices you guys are in positions, and she'll look at you, Vimrak, and it's like, do you guys want me somewhere specific? Uh, I mean, I, I'm willing to tag along. I trust you guys. I'm just uh, you know, willing to help as well if you want me somewhere else. There's a chance that this turns very ugly. So maybe we should leave you in the woods. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna survive the trip if you guys all die and I prefer not to just be have my hand held the entire time while I know I'm the weakest of your bunch so I mean at the very least maybe I can charge in at some point if you guys call for help or I can I can do something say you know, I'll go in the woods if you want me to but just then stay behind me and be ready to stab something yeah, if things go south, you've used that rapier before, so just be ready to use it again. Okay. She, she, like, rapiers don't typically have sheets, I don't think. So, she, um, 
she she gets it ready. She's well, she'll she's not gonna hold it out. She's gonna be ready to go. She's kind of just, just her like, hand on the pummel. There you go. She's uh, she's behind you guys. So, uh, go ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna try and open the door. Just the door is unlocked. Cool. So I'm gonna open the door and just damn it. Close the door and open the door. <laughs> and I'm just going to walk right in, just like loudly stomping in um, and just kind of look around the room. Um, okay, go ahead, and, go ahead and take one step to the right um, or to the left. I just want you to be on top of the cart. There we go. That's fine. So this is a staircase that leads up. Um, the ground floor has been converted into a makeshift kitchen but the room is filthy. Baskets and old dishware are piled everywhere. Adding to the clutter is a peddler's cart, a chicken coop, a heavy wooden trunk, and a pretty uh, wooden cabinet with flowers painted on the doors. In addition to the um, clucking of the chickens, you hear toads croaking as well. It's it's actually like almost an assault on your ears as you open the door. You're surprised at how well made the door was and how tight of a seal it was because the second it's open there's just almost like subtle chaos in here of just noise and things going on um so the sweet smell of pastries blends horrifically with a stench that burns your nostrils the awful odor comes from um out of an open door um in let me see so the open door here in the oven an upright barrel in the center of the room so this one here. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the post that holds. The I'm sorry. Place up. The awful odor comes from an open upright barrel in the central of the room. So the one that is north of. Uh, yeah, you're right. Which one am I thinking of? Sorry, I have other things on top. Give me one second. It's not that one. It's actually this. It just looks kind of weird. It's this like, no, it's not that. I'm sorry, guys. Give me that looks a like a crate or a cage. Yeah, that is a. We'll go with this one. This uh, sort of like, it's like a, a ceramic sort of Amphora. large, two-handed topped. You always know all the weird words. I love it. Um, <laughs> so a sweet smell of pastry splints horribly with a stench that burns your nostrils. The awful odor comes out of an open upright barrel in the center-ish of the room here. Warmth issues from a brick oven against one wall and a crumbling staircase ascends the wall across from it. Streaks and crackles from somewhere higher up can now be heard uh, in the old mill. Uh, the ceiling here is about eight feet tall and as you guys sort of look about the room on the floor, you see small human bones littering the flag stone floor so i know you entered loudly um so without much of a hesitation um that cackling and that sort of uh shrieking from up top subsides um and then one voice kind of calls down uh you've you've caught me you've caught me a bit off guard here but i'm always open for business give me a, a couple minutes please make yourself make yourself at home um i'll be down uh I'll be down in, in a moment. While he's calling out, or whatever she, whatever, I want to just quickly wipe some grime off the window while they're distracted. Okay. So I will allow that. And let me see. Also, just asking out of character, how did we acquire the deed to this windmill? Did we find it in the House of Death? Yes. It was in the secret room that you guys found in the library in the death house. So I'm, it was the... I'm completely operating on possession as nine-tenths of the law right now. <laughs> it was It was in the... Uh, it was There was the deed to the death house itself, and then there was a deed to this, like, um, this additional uh, structure as well. Let me see. So you can see in... There, Royce. I'll move you over here. Um, there's an old woman, very old and haggard and really horrific. Um, a haggard, heavy set woman uh, with a wrinkled face is sort of uh, uh, working away 
uh, in this area here. There's she's sort of covered in flour, <laughs> um, and there seems to be blood stains on it as well. Um, she doesn't seem to have noticed you as she's preoccupied with kind of getting ready, um, and and I'm guessing with the door open in your position, you you heard now what what she had said. Um, let me see what else is in here. The the structure and things you see in here are accurate, and this part was actually. Uh, she hold on before. Yes. So this this mechanism here was actually in motion. So she was kind of hand cranking this somehow um, as the windmill itself is no longer functional. And then okay. that's what you see. So she's kind of just moving around, tidying up, you know, tightening her apron, kind of dusting it off and things like that. The people on the first floor, do you guys want to do anything before she descends? Yeah, I'm going to um, start walking up the stairs. Uh, and okay. as I do so, I'm going to say loudly, you know, I hate to be uh, rude, but I think we have a, a bit of an impasse here, uh, because I, I think, as as unfortunate as it is, I think you're you're squatting in our property, and I think we need to discuss this. I'm gonna just come uh, upstairs. Roll a persuasion check. Give me one second after I roll it. Because I'm going to add my Glamour Weave. So I get to add basically a... a I'm adding uh, 1d4. And my, my goal with this is to kind of disarm or catch her off guard. I'm not trying to be a jerk. Just trying to like... Yeah. D oh, well, that was great. So a 15. Okay. Um. So she... Okay, so you guys are going to put me to the test tonight. So, Royce, you're going to see this. Um, she is going to... Um, she's going to pull at like, what looks like a knot or like a, a hanging piece of like rope. Um, kind of, it's kind of in the center of the room, kind of where she's at. Initially, she did not mess with this, Royce. Um, however, you see her demeanor uh, change a bit with this. I'm uh, going to go through the window and just tackle her. Okay. <laughs> um, so how are you going to break the window? I mean... With my glass breaking hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to punch the window? Um, uh, let's see. Don't Do I feel have... like you can punch the window to get through. Let me see what I got here. If I have anything. <laughs> I My man's just... It breaking. looked like she was doing something. All she right. was doing I'm... something, but <laughs> you didn't let me finish. So how are you going to break? <laughs> I'm just gonna punch it, and it's not gonna do anything. And then we're just right back where we started. Okay, so I'll go ahead and roll a strength check. Uh, I'll say there's a slim chance you break this window, but so glass uh, is AC 13. Okay, with almost no hit points. Okay, and I'm listening for a sound before making any moves myself. Something that is uh... I would that would deem abnormal or alerting it's so it's got a weird oh there we go i got rid of it you want a strength check sure there we go <laughs> perfect okay Just so knock on the window. there's like... no response from down below or there's no response you guys hear all that's heard <laughs> as the woman is sort of shuffling about um you only are looking through a small part of the quote unquote clean window. Um, as you kind of rear back uh, uh, to punch, uh, you uh, you see her pull on on like a knot or a piece of like rope that's hanging from the ceiling. Um, she kind of yanks on it a couple times and you actually hear like a bell. Um, and all of you hear a bell, and probably except for Observer, hear a bell. Um, you won't be able to hear it through the glass? I don't know. It, it, my intention was that this place is, is pretty old. It was built... It's up on a on a mountain. 
Um, it's it's it was well built. It's not your typical, you know, shop front glass paint anything. The walls here are, are thick and and it's it's sturdy overall. But um, no, I'll say observer, you don't hear the bell. Everyone else hears a bell ring from above them. Um, Royce only hears it br- subtly because he's only hearing it through the open door that's just below him. So he's not, he's hearing it even less so than Toto is. Um, then Royce, you, you punch the window, you unsuccessfully break the window, dirt and grime kind of fall down from that. Um, and now you're even more exposed here as you're kind of hanging around the corner here, holding on, um, trying to, you know, stay on this platform. Uh, the woman inside makes a direct glance at you and sees you very clearly um her face is uh unhappy but also uh shocked and surprised and then now she'll she'll respond um initially to your uh statement toto and she's going to with a a a bit of a, a intensity but not i wouldn't say aggression um she goes well i'm uh, just a businesswoman, and I've been in this location for a long time. I can assure you. However, I'm not, uh, I'm not above the law, and I can respect any paperwork that you may have. I would love to discuss it with you. Um, but why is there someone outside? And if you don't mind, because you don't own this place yet, just staying on the first floor as this is a place of business and I do like to keep my um, my production lines clean. Um, does Vemrek have so, a line of sight at this woman yet? No, no one does. Okay. So I'm going to very confidently step up. I'm going to completely ignore what she's saying and step up onto the second floor um, okay. and say, well... I understand the inconvenience, but to answer your questions, uh, those are my associates. They're inspecting the state of the property right now, and it is certainly mine. I have the deed to it. Um, I'd love to negotiate, uh, you know, a peaceful uh, chance for you to exit the property. Uh, But, you know, at this point, I I don't think there's any dispute of the ownership. Uh, I have the deed on my person at this moment uh peaceful as it may be you've come off rather strong and i think that you can agree to that um especially if there's people hanging off of uh what i would consider to currently be my home um and again i'm and she'll step here to not allow you any further uh so you see a haggard heavy set old woman with a face wrinkled as a boiled apple um and she is obviously oh, she's she wears a bloodstained flower cake apron, a long sharp bodkin impales her bundled up mound of gray hair. Um, dirt kick windows allow very little light into this uh, eight foot high chamber, most of which is taken up by a large millstone connected to a wooden gear shaft that rises through the ceiling in the center of the room. Do I, I see? Don't... Sorry. A stone staircase continues up toward the other side of the room. So this is another staircase over here that goes up. Uh, Go ahead, Vimrak. 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 Now that she's at the top of the stairs, do I see her? Yes, you can see her now. Is it Morgan? Uh, The woman in front of you is much more hideous than Morgan. So I don't know. I don't recognize her. I don't from... recognize her, but her voice sounds somewhat familiar. Um, so she steps and she kind of counters with, uh, you're coming off incredibly strong. This is the middle of the morning. Um, I would like to look over your paperwork as well. I just don't understand why um, you're doing this in the fashion that you are. You I'm going to, I'm going to like push Toto, like not, forcibly but like into her kind of so we can get up the stairwell um she's not in a it doesn't look like she's in a position to just be pushed out of the way so you can try that but that will then start a strength check okay um so i guess while you're jostling me from behind i'll just kind of chuckle and say oh yeah you're eager my friend uh 
Yes, I, I'm perhaps being a bit forceful, um, but I do have a deed uh, and a you do not, forceful. and I am... I am, it's an understatement, I, I am say. as surprised as you are to find you here in property that I rightfully own. Oh, yes. And, and where did you find the deed to this? Has it been in your family for a long time? Uh, no, it was a recent acquisition, but I don't see how, if the deed was not in your possession, how you have any right to be here or negotiate at all at this point. Sure. Well, why don't we do this? What I initially had stated, this is an area where I make food for my business. Um, why don't we go down to the bottom floor? We can tidy up a bit and get some chairs and we can discuss if your other uh, friends would like to come in, your inspectors, if you will. And there's definitely like a, a hint of like bullshit on that. Uh, then we can try and figure out, um, you know what we can do about this and of course over time if, if this is deemed um you know accurate and it seems like what your sorry i'll move you guys up I, i'm gonna like is the stairwell wide enough to sorry. walk past toto yes well okay. be next to him basically okay i'm gonna uh, take point and i'm just gonna like just walk into the woman not with aggression but just like get out of my way i'm a big guy okay i don't know how it would not be aggressive you can do that <laughs> i'm just gonna say you can't really walk into cooper cooper you hey. can't walk into cooper you can't walk into my dog has nightmares i have to make him up where he cries um intimidation can't, can't, you can try and intimidate someone but i'm just saying if you walk into someone it's it's especially in this situation it's there's no way of it not being perceived as like a hey a big fuck you and possibly your response in, into that so do make your decision now we can go f with it but you i only say it because you were like i want to walk into her not intimidatingly I just want to push her out of the way <laughs> okay i would like to <laughs> attempt to intimidate her to let me pass okay what I'll are you going to say uh what are you going to do like a i'm gonna just get up and as close as i can to her okay and just look her in the eyes so she sees the lack of my eyes okay uh, and say, I'd like to discuss our business on this floor. Or, I'd, or I would say, uh, I'd rather discuss the business on this floor. No need for formalities. Okay. Um, let me see. Arena is going to walk in, but she's not ascending the stairs uh go ahead and roll your check for that intimidation um she's gonna cast sleep right there everywhere um, it won't affect those outside. It's just going to hit these two. So she is going to cast a spell in response to you sort of approaching her in this way. She's going to try and put you guys both to sleep. I'll be having like my, my, whatever my ears would be kind of close to the window trying to listen. So you yeah, gotta roll five d eight. Five d eight to get hit points for yep. it, basically. And it counts down hit points of target, so it'll start with me, and then it'll have to have enough left to put Vemrak to sleep if I fail to save. Does that make sense? Is it? Yep. I'm just trying to and figure I out what my damn save for this, this is. Five so that oh, won't even God. target me. It'll just fail. Because I got 31 hit points. So it's pretty obvious that she just cast that, right? Because it's somatic and she used a pinch of fine sand and rose petals. Yes, it's understood that she cast a spell. Um, actually, hold on. Well, let's see here.
I guess it may affect me. I don't know. It didn't roll enough to actually affect me, but I don't... I, I can see that going either way. It doesn't really say. Because it says, starting with the creature that has the lowest current hit points, me. Each creature affected falls unconscious, or the sleeper takes damage. Subtract each creature's hit points from the total, so you'd have negative 15 hit yeah, points after me. Enough. So I don't... I would assume it doesn't have enough to hit me, but I leave it up to you. Yeah, I mean, it says a creature's hit points must be equal to or less than the remaining total for that creature to be affected. Is that increased by level, though? That seems like it's kind of low. It is. It's, well, I mean, it you have to burn one. higher spell slots for it. If yeah. you want to, like, upcast it. I was going to say, because, like, just by that, even if you roll max, you couldn't put me to sleep. Yeah, you, it almost would be able to put me to sleep if I... Well, if I, if I didn't have my temp HP, it was All right, guys. Give me one. I feel like there's something missing there because that seems pretty underwhelming. You know, it's a it's a first place, level spell. But, yeah, being cast at I mean, third succeeds. level PCs. So that's kind of the because it it does pile on the progression. If you upcast it, but yeah, I mean, just trying to see it. what she would or could upcast it to. Because I didn't. Whenever I pressed consume available, I don't know which hag these are, so it's hard to say. And I don't want to know which hag they are. Just as a heads up, if this spell does not work on Vemrak, he is going to be reacting with some with stuff. Typically a weapon. I was gonna poke you in the back after this no matter what. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> the idea here what? is divide and conquer. <laughs> I think we're getting to the end of our ruse. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not a ruse, but... You know. At the very least, if we can take one of these out. What's it called? A coven? Um, so they're hags in a coven. Um, as long as they have multiple hags, they can do extra shit. But individually, most hags are not that bad. It would be hilarious if Shatter actually tried using this on me, though. Because you can't go to sleep? You don't need to sleep, and magic can't put you to sleep. Wow. I literally cannot be affected by sleep. Definitely shouldn't have given that one away to the DM. <laughs> uh, I mean, Do you have already... command or anything like that, Shatner? No. Okay. Because command or charm are usually the, the tricks I would use on a PC character. A PC a player character character. <laughs> a PC character. <laughs> um... A DM machine? Yep. Politically correct. Okay, player. so observer, here, here's something that I want to check, and I'm not trying to be an asshole with this. I'm just actually. We want it to be a challenge. Don't worry. Well, I'm just curious. Um, because I've never thought of this before. Because it's cast at a thir third level and you get 4d8 extra. No, it's not. Um, She's not a caster like that, though. She can't that. upcast. Unless she has an ability. Well, to... We're destroying the game. Hey, Sterling, you here? Yes, I am. I'm smoking.
You can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It it's put. It said you were offline. So I was one. Yeah, I just. I'm always offline. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I get rid of this giant thing now. This is annoying. You can select okay. it and delete it. Perfect. So she tried to cast something. Um, that did not happen. Um, if you guys are willing to fight, we can roll initiative. Do I? Could I get a reactionary attack just based on that level of aggression, or no? You weren't ready for it, right? Um, it's arguable out. that he was would be ready for it. Um, so Mac, I'll give you a hit since you're closest, and then we'll roll initiative for those. Uh, everyone else. Chopper Neff. Does twenty one hit? Um, yes. Oh, god damn it. Uh, 13 slashing. Uh, you've slashed all of the things in your weapon before. Um, you are rather confident that she has some type of resistance to your slash. Um, so she does take damage. Um, she does cry out. But what she cries out has nothing to do with being hit. Uh, she cries out to the ceiling, and she screams, Get the fuck down here! Um, and then we'll start combat. Copy. And so I, I definitely heard that, right? That's fine, yes. Okay. Awesome. You need um, arena in the order. Yes, thank you. Uh, okay. Um, the woman that you guys instrumentally just came in and ruined her baking day is up. Oh, um, she is going to at this point now with a not so friendly tone. Um, She's just going to express that you've made a great mistake and that if there's something that needs to be discussed with the ownership of this property, she could give two shits about it. But if you'd rather come here and die and be added to her bone grinder, um, she's also fine with that. She then calls upstairs again, um, and then she is going to... Attack you, Vimrak. Um, actually, that's not true. She is. So she's too scared. <laughs> Let me see. Um, we concluded that there was no downside to casting in melee range, or there was, I forget. If it, uh, ranged attack, I don't know if we talked about casting. If somebody has yeah. an attack of opportunity, it can trigger it, but outside of that, Constantly. I don't think it does anything. Okay. I think it was depending upon the casting type to maybe I think it's just if you're within if you're within it, it can provoke an attack of opportunity so 
Let me look up tax of opportunity. I, I thought a tax of opportunity were only if you were to try to move out of engagement distance. There's Typically a couple of in ways. some, yeah, in some I can't game remember. Forms, like, it changes in every edition. Yeah. It's like if you do something that's like leaving you open to something, and like they're so at a disadvantage changing weapons or things like that. So, uh, spellcasters have a uh, disadvantage for using ranged spell attacks uh, if cast within five feet of an opponent. Okay, okay. that's what it is. So yeah. She's going to move up the stairs, and you can do a free attack on her. Nineteen to hit. Nineteen will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Seventeen. Okay. Same thing. It seems um, less effective. And she's going to get here, and she is again going to just yell out like, "You've made a grave mistake." I could give two shits about this place, but who just comes in here and starts attacking people over a fucking windmill? Um, and then she is going to cast Interesting. Um, she is going to change her form into something somehow much less appealing. Because her boiled apple face was appealing? Yeah, exactly. Um, so she is going to take a truer form. I'll be right um, back because I think I got it. So I'll be right back. She is going to look like that now. So she got skinnier. Makes yeah. it less attractive. <laughs> I know, right? And then. That will be your turn. Go ahead. Okay, first up is... Someone ro rolled initiative as party. I don't know if that's for... Uh... Oh, never mind. Sorry, sorry. I'm an idiot. It's me. Uh, Royce, I think you are up first because you have higher decks, I would assume. Uh, I... I assume I do have higher decks. Does that mean that I go first? I believe that's what it is, right? Chat? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'll just kind of like, like fuck, just kind of like shake my hand off, <laughs> trying to punch the window. I'll pull out <laughs> my uh, my short sword and okay. just try to bust it with the with the hilt, the short sword. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead and do uh, with advantage. With well, no, just roll it again. It's fine. Um, where's it? I'm just oh. gonna click the attack. Sorry. Cool. Uh, you break in the window, and then I will put you. Yeah, you can just move in. So this is so right here. Just so you understand, that's a wall basically. So to to get to her, you'd have to come like this way. And then get here. So she's she's like halfway up the stairs in this position that she's in. Okay, and she was in the room, and she's moving downstairs. She's or does that go upstairs. that goes upstairs? She's, yeah, these your your buddies here are coming from the downstairs. So okay. she's moving upstairs. Um. Okay. I don't want to block. The, like if I go. If I go right there, is that going to cause an issue for them coming up? No, they can always pass you. It's fine. All right, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, you don't want to shoot her? No, well, hurt. I, I assume that I can't. Yeah. Um, and then... Then, Matt, go ahead. Okay. 
gonna I'm gonna run. I'm gonna there we go. run up to her. Okay. Uh, hold on. I'm just looking real quick for something. Um, I'm going to attempt to grapple her. I essentially want to prevent her from climbing the stairs. Okay. Um, my favorite chart ever. Grapple 5e. Like, I want to... I want, essentially, if I could, like, grab her, like, around the shoulders or the waist, like, bear hug her and turn her around if I can. So whenever you make a melee attack, you can choose to try and grapple instead. So go ahead and make that. Would it be a strength check? On. It's strength Sorry. athletics contested by either strength athletics or deck acrobatics of the target. Whatever is higher. So, sorry, so I make a acrobatics check? Strength athletics. I don't know what that means. An athletics That's check. An athletics check. That's a nat 20. <clears throat> um, versus a what? Uh, acrobatics or athletics, whichever is uh, defender's bitch. choice. Why um, do you hate me? Is he roll 20s? Um, okay, you're you're hugging this beautiful woman. Okay, I'm, I essentially want to switch places with her. Like, I want to grab her and turn her around towards the party. Okay, so basically you're gonna run up to her and just like, just like pick her up and throw her on the ground. I wanna, I wanna keep her restrained. Like, okay, she's not going anywhere. So she's actively yeah. grappled. Her speed is zero, and you can't benefit from from any. And bonuses you can move longer. at half speed and move the creature with you. Okay. So, um, and I'm gonna whisper in her ear. I can't wait to fuck your skull. Uh, <laughs> Just oh, God. okay. Just because, like, just because I know what she, I know that she's murdered children, and that's like a big so place in Demerex Heart. On, like, I always like the young ones, kinky. Oh, sisters, and she's like still waiting from upstairs. Um, okay, so you've grappled her. Okay, do I still have movement? Um. Yeah, just minus whatever you did to get there. So minus like ten or whatever. Okay, you said my movement was half. So if I could, how many squares can I go towards the staircase? Well, your staircase to get there was not half, but now it's half. So whatever you have left, you can move half. But you've got like ten feet of movement left total, I think, because you got thirty feet <laughs> of movement total. Is that right? So. So you would yeah, have so 10 to get here, more. and you have 20 left, so you have 10 left if you maintain the grapple. Put her in the middle! Okay. So I can essentially move her 5 feet. Is that correct? You can move her 10 feet. You can move her 10 feet. Okay. okay, I'd like to get her on the stairs going back down towards Toto. Okay. Spicy. Um, so here. And then I think... And you're going to be here. Yep. Okay. Got it. Done. That is the end of my turn, yes. Okay, Arena is going to call up and be like, uh, should I do anything? Uh, we can't get through the stairwell anymore. Um. Yeah, she's like, it's pretty crowded up there. Want me to do something down here? Get behind me and get ready to get up here. All right. So she'll do that. She'll ready in action, basically, if something... She's like, okay, if anything comes at me i'll just do that and then she like is like seeing now she's like oh god if that thing gets to me i'll attack it um observer go ahead with this uh window i'm, I'm guessing the fact that there's scaffolding around here the windows were made to open or something is that the case like can they be like slid up or they uh, no can you even get through the window yeah, I'm not big. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm okay. big. So I'm like seven foot. But they would um, need to be broken at this point. 
Okay. Uh, can I just use a strength check as a free action to attempt to essentially open it by pushing through it? If you want to do it with your movement? Yeah. Um, sure. But just be aware that that's going to leave you susceptible to kind of heaving off of that platform you're on. So I'm, I'm fine still with still using it. my other hand to hold on to the... Um, like that bit there. Okay. Like my right arm just kind of pushing through this thing to open it up. <laughs> I'm going to say if you want to push through the window and break it, you're going to have to like jump through it. Or do, I mean, it, or or take the weapon action to just break it like Royce I mean, did. So. I'm like 300 pounds. I could probably just move through it. Yeah, but you need right. some. You need some. No, you need some like momentum, and that's <laughs> my point. So I know what you're trying to do. You're gonna get the best of every single situation. So I don't care if you want to try and just move through it, but you're gonna have to like, like, like. I mean, athletics. And, it or is yes. that which which one? Just understand. Athletics is fine, but just understand that if it's if it's bad. Um, that's how I picture Observer. Uh, no, I'm not quite like that. Like the picture I got. Uh, <laughs> it's just the harvesters from WoW. I'm just fucking <laughs> bumbling around. Oh, God. Yeah, it's With his little matters. straw hat. He should get a straw hat, that's for sure. Oh, God. <laughs> fucking hate all of you. Sure. Uh, it's open. And you right. can be inside. Yeah, I'm just gonna be right at that railing area. Okay, just um, take do half movement at least. Fuck you. <laughs> no, I, I don't like, need please, to just he doesn't want to go anywhere else. There's nowhere else to go. So, <laughs> is there? Um, can I perceive any of the other hags above? Um, looking up, like I'm looking up. I can roll a perception check. There's there's a closed door at the top still, but you will leave it at that. Okay, so I can't see anything. Correct. Not from upstairs. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm just going to cast uh, Chill Touch. Okay. On the you know, target. What was the target? Why is that not working? Uh, Morganta is the target. That's yeah, no, I, I can't, right can't double-click the target anymore. That's weird. Oh, well, I'll just roll a normal attack. Wow. Uh, 10 does not hit. Is she on the ground? Uh, no. Like, she's just prone. being, like, moved. She's not prone. Okay. Because that would make me a disadvantage. Right, no, I'm, I'm currently holding her. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay. Uh, totally, God, fuck you. I'm totally you're up. Can I see the other stairwell from where I am? No. Can I use movement to get up over the banister? Mm, you'd have to crawl. Um, like, climb it. So, if you... Well, fuck it. I'm gonna do this. Um... So, my action... You did is huh you, you did say the stairwell was wide enough for both me and him so well he could get past the hag it's one of those like you just you typically don't make passing friendlies an issue because it just bogs things down but okay. when there's like an enemy involved, the it's rule is more, yeah you can't pass through enemies you can pass through friendlies um you just can't yeah. end on either so i'm for my action i will attack her with my scimitar okay which is why isn't it rolling? Okay, attack. Is it normal or advantage because she's grappled? Um, I found a very annoying article about grappled. It was like, let's make this easy, and then it's like 14 pages long. Um, Conditions. Here. Grappled. Ah. Uh... I don't see anything. Are uh, there? Just 
Yeah, yeah. it just says that your speed becomes zero. Okay, yeah. so it's just a normal attack? Yeah. Yep. Well, let's see what happens. I'm assuming a 13 doesn't hit. 13 does not hit. And then I will cast Spiritual Weapon as my okay. bonus action. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put it... Do I have a token for that at this point, or no? Um, I forget what we were using before. I don't think there's an official one yet. I think I gave you a Spirit Hammer a long time ago, but it doesn't matter. I don't think I ever put that in. How about a Flying Sword? Sure. Um, can okay. you put it here? see if I can give it to you. Oh, that's fine. Where do you want it? Uh, right here. There. Okay. I can't see it, but that's fine, because this wall is You weird. can always um, drag select outside, and you'll see everyone's vision. Yeah, I'm just going to, when you cast a spell, you make a melee spell attack against a creature within five feet. A melee spell attack. What is my melee spell attack? Whatever's going to be on the sword, right? Yeah, it should be the same as my sword. So I'm just going to roll the scimitar again, just for the okay. hit. Is your scimitar at plus one, though? Uh, yeah, so I guess minus one from this. How about a 17? Um, not an 18? 17. No, because it's... A 17 does not yeah. hit. Okay, well then nothing happens. Okay. Anything else? Uh, that's an action, bonus action, and... Oh, uh, I'm good. Okay. Um, so before her turn starts, the door up top, like, slams open. Um, and kind of, like, bounces off of the sort of frame, if you will. And then coming down the staircase are two lovely looking ladies. Um, they are both holding children um, in their left arms, basically with kids kind of in like a headlock dangling down um, their feet dangling, and they are kind of whimpering and trying to get full breaths as they're coming down the staircase. The two women, if you will, just have grins on their faces and say, Boy, did you guys fuck up today. I don't know what possessed you to do this, but I assure you it won't end well. I don't care how many of you there are. I don't care what your reasons are. But let go of our mother and fucking leave, and these kids won't die now. I'm going to turn to the group and say, those kids are going to die if we leave. And I'll say, let I'll the kids go where your mother dies. How about you take one kid and leave, and then if you'd like to have one person come in here and discuss whatever bullshit you came in here to discuss, we can do that like adults. However, these actions you've taken today breaking windows, knocking things over, attacking a defenseless old woman. There's no place for that in civilized society. And these kids are ours. They were given to us. However, we'll part with one if it ends this chaos. How about you part with both, or you part with your mother's head? Um, the first one pulls out a knife and puts it to... Actually, no. The first one just has a claw that kind of like forms a bit from the the hand that... The right hand that she's not holding the kid with and just kind of starts to like poke the child in the face and it like kind of just like cries and whimpers a bit more and then she squeezes it more to where it can't even really give a full effect or, or give a full... Um, a full uh wow well, I have no reaction words today. thank you <laughs> Rex like fuck this I'm out the choice is yours we're here there's fresh pies down below but I assure you you won't cut off our mother's head 
in the next couple seconds, and both of these kids will die. I think the choice is pretty clear. We out of combat at this point? No, it's their turn. They're just talking. Let's put it that way. Demrak isn't much of the negotiator. He doesn't really have much to offer. <laughs> he he'll do something stupid if someone doesn't speak up. <laughs> My charisma is pretty low. I don't really care if they'll ever die. It's all part of the cycle anyway. Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty clear that they're gonna die regardless. You mean to tell me that you've barged in here today and don't care about these two poor defenseless kids? I've heard what you've done in town. We knew you were passing by at some point. We didn't think that this would be your reaction to some deed that was found or some bullshit along those lines. It's not about I... the deed, it's about the children, you dumb fuck. We yes. knew you've been taking children from the town. I... no, no, no. I do not take children. We are given children. These children were not taken. They were given to us. You know what was given to me? Your mother's asshole. I'm gonna go take it. <laughs> um... The... <clears throat> the woman in the front will throw the child... Like, literally throw the child... with. It, it, it's a feat of strength of nothing else, as you guys should be surprised by it. Um... It's just like as if it's like a wad of paper. Throw the child back upstairs. Um, observer, you don't have view except you kind of hear a thud as it like as the the kid like hits the floor and then seems to like scamper around and there's crying involved and um, and then this person here is going to step forward and is going to attack you, Vimrak. Um, in the same, let me see here. What is your AC now? Something silly. What is this, no, what is this What is this sword right here? That's a spiritual, spiritual weapon. weapon. Oh, okay. It's a 16. 16 AC. Yep. Okay. Um so a claw is coming at you. It will hit and you are going to take where's my 5 6 uh, 10 slashing damage across your chest uh, as she just casually is just kind of swiping at you. Um, the other sister, if you will, is going to um, kind of like jump down here to this. Um, I'll have her roll a little acrobatics check for that. Um, she has no problem just kind of jumping down. Um, and then she is going to... Ooh, I rolled a 20. Um, oh, rolled go ahead. Wait, hold on. You rolled an 18 plus 2. I think I no, took... No, that's for the damage. acrobatics. Hold on, hold on. Oh, you rolled um, something else we can't see. Yes. I'm no longer leaving all damage rolls up to this program. So you could cheat. Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> She hit you for 10 slashing. That should just be 10 slashing, or do you, you have nothing else going at this point, right? You're well, not raging, I'm, right? No, I'm not raging, but I'm checking what my totem spirit says. Okay. Um, the 20 is going to hit. And then I, I really shouldn't know this as much as I've run games. Uh, natural 20 is double damage. I think it's double. Oh, thank you. It's usually double my, dice. Oh my god. It's usually well. There's a couple ways you can do it. You're talking about just crits. Yeah. I mean, there's double damage. There's double the roll, and then the modifiers. Um, it kind of depends on which one you're doing. Okay. 
So I'll public roll this. So you don't do, you don't double the damage modifier, just the dice roll. Just the dice. Okay. Sorry. So I took the first attack was minus was ten slashing damage, and then there was a second attack for ten. Is that no, correct? there's a second attack, which is a crit, and I'm rolling damage right now. Uh, oh, I'm dumb. Uh, that is a normal. I set up all that and still didn't do it. Plus this. So how much am I taking? Double on that. No, that's your double. So ten plus um, those two. Thirty-five, um, 35 total. I'm confused. The first attack was 10 slashing damage. Yes. And then the second attack was a crit. Yes. For 25 slashing. Okay. And, and that is the two sisters attacks. Can you um, uh, yes. Why? Mm. You got to update just, the prototype tokens. I know. I think I did. I just, I had these set up like weeks ago. And then... I'll just describe it to you. He's really hurt. Because <laughs> he wasn't raging. Um, at the end of the second sister's turn, she is going to just state, um, would you like to renegotiate? And the second one is still holding a child. Oh, I guess the mouthy orc wants to continue then. Um, Morgantha is going to try and break out of the grapple. Which would just be... The same rolls again. Same rolls. You said acro You said athletics? Or, or you said... I'm sorry. Strength uh, or... Athletics. Whatever is higher... Grappled creature can use its action to escape. It succeeds on either a strength or dex. Uh, it's either athletics and or acrobatics versus strength athletics okay. for the grappler. Gotcha. Damn. So she's still grappled. Um, and Royce, you're up. Uh, grapple just means that your movement is zero, right? Yeah, but if she, she makes still attack. An, if she makes an action to escape and fails, she doesn't have an action left. That's her action. Yeah. Ah, that makes sense. Uh, also, the mother is just kind of like cackling and laughing to herself now at this point. Um, eighteen against the mother. Eighteen hits. Piercing. How does the um, mother? How does the mother look? By the way, damage-wise, yep, uh, healthy as can be. Despite, um, despite taking three attacks so far. Yes, I know there are half damage, but yes, um, she is does not look worried at all. Anything else, Royce? Oh shit! God damn it! Just get my hand um, on the <clears throat> If I move, I'm going to take attacks of opportunity from two of them, right? Um, if she's they grappled, have, I don't know if she can do that. You if they probably, have attacks of opportunity. Yeah, so you'd have to have... It's always a feature, right? Yes, it's specifically called out. Uh, you might. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't take it from the mother. Because she's... The mother. Yeah. If I move there, am I going to have line of sight on her? Uh, you would have line of sight on everybody from there, yes. Is it either one of the daughters Morgan, by the way? The one that we met in town? No. They uh, you recognize none of them. So I do I do not have line of sight here. You do have line of sight. Yes, you oh, do. you do, though. It's just not showing. It's considering this a full wall, but that's yeah. the start of the... Okay. Um, yeah, you're fine. That's my turn. I can do this for you rather easily. There you go. It's it's not a big deal. You should have it now, right? No, no I don't. Still doesn't. Yeah. Fuck. No, no big deal. Um, no Okay, as a bonus action, I'd like to raid. 
<laughs> um, the two sisters, when you rage, they go, Oh, he's raging! And they, like, laugh afterwards. Yeah, it's real funny. Um, question, if I were to drink a potion of healing, would that mean that I let go of the grip of the mother? Completely. Or can I, like, swiftly drink the potion of healing as an action and retain my grab? Bonus action, right? I just use my... No, the potion sure. of healing says it's an action. Uh, I'm not even sure that you can... I'm going to say you can't really do anything, but if you're going to hold a creature down, that's you need, really all you're doing. You need one free hand to grapple. That's it? Yep. Fine. Yes, you can drink your potion. Grim wins this one. I'm just reading the rules. Rules are for squares. Okay, and I'm going to regain five. Only the best rolls. Um, the sister to your south makes a snarky comment like, Oh, we can make those two if you need more after this. We assume that you probably will. Hey, can you drag her off the top of the stairwell? <laughs> okay, I'll keep pushing her down. Okay. No. Just. <laughs> what do you mean? Where do you want me to go? This is probably Ooh. fine. Oh, they're they're fighting. I mean, I can't move the character token. So. Where do you want it? Right here. That's it. I'm asking Toto, I don't know. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. I'm going to retain grapple on the woman. Arena's up. She's going to call it again. Um, I hear new voices. Um, should I do should I do anything? Uh, if you want to come stab a hag, you can do it, but it's going to be dangerous. Um, well, like two of the sisters just call out like, ooh, she sounds pretty. Yes. Yes. Let's see her. Um, I'm going to roll something for Arena to see if she's brave enough for this. Um, and I'll say, come and fight or run away. <laughs> she is going to run up. And she is going to attack the mother. Wow. Okay. Um, for nice. Um, damage. Two damage. Big damage. <laughs> Big damages. She's like, oh, uh, wow. She's hideous. Oh, <laughs> and then observe you're up. Okay. Can I hold on to the wall and still move up? Uh, like to there, like so I'm like still kind of anchored. Are you trying to be Spider Man? No. What are you? Um, you want to you want to be outside, not inside? I want to be outside while holding my entire weight off of the wood. Or at least most of it until I will be holding all my weight after I do what I want to do, which is use a thorn whip. Sure, you can use a thorn whip quickly. Okay, I'm gonna use. Still can't target things. It's so weird. Oh my god! God damn it! That was on that one. Uh, she calls out. She's like, "Ooh, angry orcs and." kinky robots and they're like hee 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 he, afterwards anything else nope uh god you're so fast Toto and we don't play with flanking right we have not been no okay I'm gonna get um can you move my spiritual weapon here and then I'm gonna get up and over 
Yeah, I can't. God damn it. I have to move through multiple people. I'm going to get here. I'm going to cast Moonbeam on more... Well... The one that's grappled. The mother. I can see her name, but whatever. <laughs> um, actually, no, I'm going to cast it... Not going to cast it on her. Which one's holding the kid? The one, uh, this the one. one. Right okay. here, this other one. On the back. Oh. I thought it was the one in front, the one we could see before. Mm -hmm. The one up front. Through the child and then came down the stairs. The other oh, one. Oh, I thought the one up front was holding both. No, they each had one, one child. Each uh, one okay. in each left. Yeah, they, one in each left arm. Never mind, I'm not going to do that. Uh, because that's a bad idea. I am going to... That's an action, I can do that. Uh, so... Everybody is going to get... Everybody on my side is going to get 1d6 temporary hit points. As I... Go all glowy eye and emanate dim light and give everybody temporary hit points. Do we all roll our own? Uh, I don't know. Do you want me to roll it or do you want everybody to roll it, Shatner? Everybody can roll. I don't care. So I'll Whatever get... Float your guys' boat. I'll get one. Yay. Yeah, I just put it in where it's it says. It's 1d6 plus, plus 4. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, like oh, plus ran. my cleric level. Hell yeah. That, 1d6 plus 4. So I get 5 temporary hit points. You got 10, holy shit. And then I'm going to have my spiritual weapon attack. What's her face? So I'll just roll. Oh, what's my bonus? I'm just going to roll this How have you guys one. been talking from your token? Text. You just type in chat while you're selected on yourself. Ah, 17. Does the 17 hit? Uh, no. Well, that's action, what? bonus act, and move. Do you have like a minus one to your attack or something? No, it's because I'm rolling with the scimitar that has a plus one. So I have to. He's doing it for the sword. Yeah. I'm doing it for my spiritual weapon. I don't understand. Why does that change it to a 17? Because it doesn't get the plus one bonus from the symmetry. Gotcha. Gotcha. God, I uh, can't hit anything. 17 misses. Yep. Uh, that's uh, move act, bonus act. Done? Yep. Um, the first sister here is going to... She's uh, going to take call... Okay, okay, so close. Close. Uh, Constitution. Yep. DC 15. What is it? She's going to take, um, it's going to be this plus, because I have somebody like an 80 active. Yeah, without consuming. Um, Double damage for Halo Spores, so six necrotic. Okay. Um, she's gonna like shiver as her turn starts. Like, Ugh, I don't like that feeling. She's gonna say, "Um, oh, that was the wrong one." Yeah, I know. So you removed the wrong one. How about that. Um, hmm. and so did they just switch places? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I still hate how it it for my my brain doesn't compute easily with finding people on the map versus the encounter. Ta I don't know why. Um, it should not be that hard, but if you hover over them, um, it shows you which one it is. It highlights them, but I I because I can't I can't pull these things out in tabs. I have to just toggle between, so I just oh, it's yeah. so fucking annoying. Um, Life's hard. hard. I can make tabs, but I can't because I'm not running in through the internet. I can't make anything bigger than my screen itself. So what if I just drag this into my next screen? Dude, I'm fucking stupid. Well done. Nice. 
I mean, it's still awkward because there's no... Okay. Okay. Proud of you, Shaq. You learned something new today. <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm so fucking dumb sometimes. <laughs> On the day I've had the least amount of sleep ever running a game. I have an entire screen worth of area now. Wow. I don't care. We're going to just disregard this entire part now. Um, I have three screens. Um, she's going to just really just, just cocky as can be. Just Would we like to negotiate terms again or would either of you like to die in this place today? And she's mostly looking down at, uh, at you, Vemrak, but kind of speaking to the group. You guys, knowing Vemrak by now, you guys know that Vemrak is pretty steadfast and trying to fight. So He's also raging. Um, yeah. So if, if you guys want to change the future of what's going to happen, you have to speak up because <clears throat> he's going to continue to fight. Uh, the the hold on, I need one second. Yeah, Royce doesn't really give a fuck either. He's just like, today's as good, good a day as any. Yeah, Toto wants to take at least one hag down if this is going to be it. Like, I'll just tell Vemrak if you can, uh, If you can move out of that cluster, that would be useful. I don't want to, out of character, I don't want to let go of this woman, because I don't want her to be able to freely attack. Just drag her back. If you can just drag her back across this room. Basically, Royce, did you, did Royce, did you take a tax of opportunity when you moved? I did not. Okay. I can drag her. Cause I can, How about I push her down? I'm going to push her down the stairs. Uh, I'm going to tell Irene to get the fuck out of the way. Are we trying to... We shouldn't be talking about all this shit. Should I'm back. Yeah. I mean... Let's not, um, Let's not metagame. Let's just go for it. So, the first sister here, not holding a child, um, she goes, we have a profitable business that we'd like to continue. Um, and it seems like, I'm guessing most of you would like to live... And I personally don't like cleaning up blood and dead bodies from inside my home. So the choice is yours. How does how does the mother look right now? She's taking a few more attacks. She looks fine. I mean, I think you're lying about cleaning dead bodies out of your mill. <laughs> So I'm not sure uh, usually why. they're much smaller and they go in particular places, but adult-sized bodies around our floor with all the blood and stuff, I mean, it's just such a hassle, you know? Maybe we'd have to get some additional kids to help do that job. Fine, so be it. I guess we will continue. Um, oh no, that's annoying. Oh no. Hmm. Can anyone else do next on the combat encounter? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Um, I realize now that if I click on my combat tracker, it like pulls it center screen, so it just removes everything, <laughs> which is perfect. Um, so the first G is going to attack you, Vimrak. Sixteen play AC does not hit. Um, the second one is going to attack you as well. Twenty two yep, hits damage 14 damage have the 7 okay 
Um, and then she is going to move right here. And then the mother is going to try and break free. Oh man, that's annoying. Gotta find a way against around that. Um, skills, flex. Where did that go? Athletics, normal. Hey, it says I gained advantage on strength checks. While I'm raging, so I guess not that yeah. it matters for that particular. There role. should be advantage as well. Yep. Okay. Um, that's gonna be her turn. Uh, Royce, you're up. If I hop right there, would I still have line of sight? No. On the mother? No. No, you'd have line of sight on no one. Oh, on just the mother. Yep. Um, I'm gonna say no. I was pretty. Specific with uh, Vemrak on his way up. It's 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 eight feet down over like four spaces, so it drops pretty quick. So, I'm I'm talking about this space right here. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So if you're here, would, okay. you would. Okay. Yeah, if you're here, right. you wouldn't see her. And then what we what what is it for ranged attacks? If somebody's up against, is it if I'm attacking them or if I'm attacking somebody else too? I get disadvantage. If you're attacking somebody in melee range with you. So if you attack uh, with anyone within five feet of you, if you attack the mom, you it's a fine attack. You're not going to get no, no, no. Made. It would still it would still proc it because you're within five feet of an opponent. Are you you're sure? Disadvantage. Yeah, that's that's what I read last time, and it's the same with with spells. If it's anything next to you, any opponent, I'll look it up again. No, no, no I I believe you. I'm pretty sure that's what you said. I was just confirming. Okay, that's fine. I'll take the disadvantage. Uh, I'm going to put Hunter's Mark on the mom. Okay. Oof. Yeah, if you're within five feet of a hostile creature, you can see you and who isn't incapacitated. 11 is not hit. Yeah, okay. That's my turn. Uh, Vemrak, you're up. Okay, I'm going to start moving the mom down the stairs and tell Irina to move out of the way. Okay. Can she move out of the way? Uh, we'll make it work. It's fine. How far are you going? Uh, I want to get... I want to put the mother, like, into this square, and then I'll take Irina's square. Okay. Um, you can't take Irina's square. You can't move her in the action. But you could get... So, one... So you could move her down here. Okay. Yeah. Make if you do that. Just, yeah. That's okay. Perfect. Gotcha. And then I just want I want me between her and the stairs, if that makes sense. So she. Okay. Yeah. That's. So I'll put you here on the map, just so you're. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. So everybody, so everybody else knows uh, the mom is just one square south of him, just under that floor now. Yep. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, uh, Arena is up, and she's gonna say, "Okay." Um, she's like, "Oh God, one of these has a child," um, and then she's gonna run over, and she is going to attack the closer one. Wow, she fucking rolls for days. Okay, nice. Um. Does it seem like the rapier against the daughter makes full impact? No. Okay. Um, that's Arena's turn. Observe you're up. Back through. Okay. And so I have a sword in the way. I can't do much there with pulling. No, oh, that's um, ethereal. Doesn't do anything. It's still occupying a space, though. So no, can't pull it, something into it, right? It doesn't functionally occupy any space. Really? Yeah, it doesn't. It's exist. completely right. ethereal. Yeah. I'll uh, go and try to do this thing again then. Okay. Um, target and. Are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> Those dice are pretty though. 
twice in a row a two. Oh, God. My rolls tonight have been dog shit. Okay. Well, I Just guess that's the end of that. Okay. Right. Right. Can I shove Arena north of me on a move? Um, you can ask her if she wants to move. And then, sure, you can move her. I hate setting that precedent, but fine. Well, sorry. <laughs> they went through all this trouble to try and set something up. But, yeah, Arena, can you step to the stairs? Well, yeah, we can have her here. Yeah, I, I just mean, want her to move a little imagine. bit. You're fine. That's fine. Just do your thing. Yeah, and then I want to now drop Moonbeam. Uh, we're she gonna... jumps back in the way. She jumps back in the way. <laughs> I'm going to drop it right here. Um, okay. Because that will hit just the hag that's not holding a kid. Um, so, do they count as shape changers? Um, yes. Okay. So, uh, on her turn, she's going to have to make... Let's see... Enters the spell area for a first time on a turn. I don't know how you want to rule this. saving throw at disadvantage. Do you want to count this as her entering it for the first time on a turn, or do you want that to happen on her turn? Uh, I think it sounds more fun to do it now and then. So she would make a con saving throw now at disadvantage. What's the damage? 2d10 type? radiant. Radiant damage. Let me see. Um Okay, and what's the save? Uh DC 15 con at disadvantage. Con, okay. So she's actually, it's going to cancel out because she would have advantage on it. Really? Yes. How does she have advantage on a, I don't know, whatever. She has, um, she has magic resistance. Okay, well, she'll still take 18 radiant damage. Okay. She uh, feels that one, that's for sure. She feels what? She feels that one. She kind of like yells out a bit. Um, dude, this is almost... Okay, there we go. And then as soon as it... Oh, can you move my sword thingy over here? Sure. Oh, how about I close the door? Sorry, it's that thing's annoying. And then it's going to attack the same person. Okay. Um, this is at a minus one when I roll it. Nope. And uh, everybody gets their temp hit points topped off to whatever it was. Oh, that's, does that include Arena as well? Yep, it does. She got how many? 10? Uh, 1d6 plus 4. Wait, so Let's we get we that again? every turn? Every turn. Until I get incapacitated or 10 rounds pass. So we just add another... It, I got it, 10, so I just add it just, another no, 10, or do just, I have to roll just, again? You just keep it. You just top it off. So, what like, me, you, me, I lost 10 pit points, so I get them back. Yep. What is the max, 10? Observer, what the fuck is that, dude? He's got a different language highlighted under his languages. Sure. For what it's worth, I've missed every attack roll. I'm just trying to find save spells at this point. Uh, I thought there was a space for temporary hit points. Yeah, it's under so I'm, normal I'm hit points. Characters. I'm confused. Whatever the temporary hit points you rolled, you just top that off yeah. every turn? Okay, yep. gotcha. Oh, so Sorry. it doesn't go higher? No. Right. Okay. So it's just it, it keeps replenishing until either 10 rounds or I'm down. Because that's just one back of my... to what the, it was the highest. Yeah. It's, uh, but uh, this is, um,. Twilight Sanctuary. You, uh, when a creature, including you, ends its turn in the sphere, which is a 30 foot sphere, uh, I can choose to grant temporary hit points equal to 1d6 plus my cleric level, or you end one effect on it, causing frightened. So, yeah. It's a pretty cool ability. 
Anyway. I'm sorry. I know this was answered, but where, is there an easy place to do it, or am I doing this? It's under hit points on the character fight? sheet. Is that in, um... What character the, sheet? D&D Beyond. No, it should just be in Foundry. Yeah, what so it looks like this. What did I just do? Yeah, Observer just posted what it looks like. Oh, do you have, um, Observer, do you have temporary hit points from another source? Yeah. You just take the highest temp hit points. Oh, that's right, they don't add on. No, they don't, they're not additive, so it doesn't probably right. help you that. all that much, but everybody else yeah, helps. Sure. <laughs> okay, Unless I go below It's It's my way to 10, fake heal. Like it's my way to fake yeah. heal without actually wasting heal slots. I just accidentally... Killed Arena? Uh, no, just re-rolled her hit dice. Oh god. You just see what her normal <laughs> gain. No, she just can't tell. Oh. <laughs> see what her normal fucking, level. What her normal fucking health is. Um, why? Oh my god. <sighs> Thank you. Cause they always put some of this stuff in the weirdest fucking places. Okay. Um. And one other question. Once you figure that out. Yeah, go ahead. When I, I drop them, that same option. Oh, they don't have that. You can also just uh, right-click on them, and maybe underneath the health, you could just do a plus. It'll stop overhealing. NPCs might not have temp hit points, I don't know. Yeah, we don't. I'm just gonna put it in, and then we'll just have to remember. Um, Go ahead. Uh, when I dropped the, the moonbeam, did it seem... Uh -huh. Could I tell if it hit normal or hit extra? It hit normal. Okay, cool. That's it, that's... Well... Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Um... The first one is up. She goes. She has oh. to make a constitution saving throw. Against yep. both. I need to make two of them, right? Or just one? Yep. One against Halo Spores. And one against Moonbeam. Um, Halo Spores is magic. Yeah. Well, it's uh, decay. So um, it's, it's a spell or a magical effect. Um, it's just necrotic damage. Uh, but it's from a, it's from a magical effect. It's got to be. Uh, is it? I don't know if it actually is magic. Let me check it. It's kind of one of those special cases. Because it's a feature. So I'll do a fourteen versus, um, observer, and then. Yeah, I'll do the damage. It's gonna be this will be six versus necrotic. Moonbeam. So I still have um. Some she doesn't. Energy. She doesn't get advantage. Oh, versus that one. That's right. She does versus observers. So she's gonna fail both, I think. So observer, she's rolling a fourteen, it's, which doesn't pass, right? Yeah, it's DC fifteen. Okay, and then no, she's going to roll necrotic. a three, a three versus six necrotic. Okay. Yep. And six and then eleven total, radiant. Yours? Eleven total. Uh yeah. Got a one and a ten. Okay. okay. All right. Um. She will make a comment. Does anyone speak infernal? Ooh. Do I? Uh, no. Nope. I don't. No one? No. Got Celestial. Is that kind of like that? We didn't coordinate languages at all. Oof. Yeah, I mean, we didn't know each other beforehand. I know. I also got... Yeah, I can't read that. Damn. I can speak Orc. 
Um, she is going to attack attack Arena. Why is that? In, why is it written like that? I guess oh, that, that language you don't understand. Speaking something you don't understand. Okay. Why is Toda writing shit? I don't understand. What the fuck is going on? Oh, man. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Every time you uh, talk now, it moves my it moves. screen. <laughs> yeah, it moves everyone's. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Um, okay, this is against Arena. 19 hits. Okay, hang on. Wait, is she shapeshifted right now? Uh, in what? way because the moonbeam if she fails the con save it's supposed to take her out of whatever form she's in all right let's stop with the bullshit come on then yes so she now looks much more similar to the photo that i posted actually no it's not true good catch there right. so they would have had that last turn also i don't know if that changes anything i guess the question is oh, what is their sorry. original turn form uh, the it was a very old woman initially, um, and now the mother looks as I posted. The two that came down look like they're tokens, um, much younger, uh, borderline attractive, but you saw kind of claws and things like that as they were sort of toying with these children. Um, and so I will post what the one looks like now. I guess what I really meant is, is the hag form their original form, or is the person their original form? Um, the hag form is their original form. That is what... Night hag. Gross. She now looks like, and I think I can adjust that, but I'm not going to even bother because there's enough chaos going on on my screen now. Um, damage for Arena. Wouldn't the other one be shaped too? Because she failed it on the last one. Mm -mm. Um, she never got hit. The other one, right? Yeah, it's outside. She's holding oh, okay. a kid, so I didn't drop a moonbeam on her. Oh, okay. Right. Um, Arena is going to take. 11 damage. Um, she's going to get up there. And then this to mm, no fun. Um, this one is going to, if they walk through it, does it trigger? It ends a turn, right? So they can only. Yeah, as soon as they move into it. If they're in it, they can move out of it. But if they if they leave it and re-enter it, they'd get hit twice. No. If they... But if they enter, it still triggers. Yeah, so if when they... When a creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it's, it is engulfed in ghostly flames. Oh. Yes, yeah, so you can move. You can move fine. out of it, but if you... Yeah. If she moves out of it, and then I move it back onto her... It can hit her twice in a round, but it, it can't. He's hit. talking about the other one moving into. Well, it. oh yeah, if she moves into or if, or if, if she, she moves, moves into, into it, she gets hit. yes, she yeah. gets immediately. Hit. Yes, yes, that's what I was wondering. Um, okay, so uh, this first one is going. Oh wait, it's this first time on a turn. Does the turns count for this whole round? No, nope. probably, but it's fine. Um, Damn. I'll move. Sneak attack is broken because of that. <laughs> and they never fixed it. I'm going to attack you, Royce. No, sir. 15 misses? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, Alright, so the downstairs fun. Let's do... <laughs> give me a strength... Uh, give me an athletics there. Fuck, you're at advantage too, huh? Oh, God. So I could still do actions, right? I just yeah. can't the, move. You can forego trying to escape and take I'm an action. I'm going to forego trying to escape and just try and kill 
this motherfucker. I'm just gonna... I am... going to claw attack you, Femrak. Oh. 25, and then damage. Fuck. E. That's half to your fucking temporary hit points. So just five? Yeah, I think so. Okay. <clears throat> Is that her turn? Hold on. Um... Um, the mother is going to yell that up to the floor above. Vimrak, go ahead. Or Royce is going to. Or Royce, sorry. Royce, go ahead. It's not letting me move, because I want to hop onto the staircase here. But it's saying I'm colliding with the wall. You want to hop here? Yeah. I'm going to go right there. Okay. Just roll in acrobatics to do it. Just because you gotta jump down a good Can't amount. You just move around. You didn't you take tax opportunity around. last time. Now you're fine. He wants to do it the flashy way. Oh, I didn't know I could just either way. Whatever. You're good. All right, I'm gonna move uh, Hunter's Mark over to this one, and then okay. to a range attack. Okay. God damn! Let's go. Critical damage. And I get what is it? One d eight. Sorry, I should have rolled it all together. Oh. No, it works out because it's half yeah. of the fourteen and the full seven for Hunter's Mark, probably, unless they have magical resistance to damage. Um, so half of the fourteen. Is that, and then seven magical. Yeah. Okay, what type is the magicals just... Does it say what type? Probably. Yeah, wait, how do... How do you determine what type of damage Hunter's Mark is? What does that sure. say on Hunter's Mark? Just, can you no, post you... it without consuming it? It doesn't, it doesn't say I'm looking at it right anyway. But yeah, I should be able to just magical it. damage. I don't think it's negated unless they just have a negation to magical. How do I? How do I post it? I think it's magical bludgeoning. I think it's magical of whatever the type is. That's probably true. So, so like it, okay. it'd be magical piercing probably. So it's fourteen if they take half from the original rank. Right? Is that right? Because there's yeah, seven plus there. seven. Okay, perfect. That was to this one. So, anything else? No, that's it. Um, Vermac, you're up. Okay. Um. Oh. Can I? What's up? Uh, can I feed a a a good berry to Vimrac? <laughs> sure. Here, here you go. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> well, it just sounds like Good Burger. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the you, you get a whole HP, bro. That's, 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 just, that's just for you, dog. Hey, but you're not going to be hungry all and day. I, I was going to say, and I don't have to eat. <laughs> exactly. I got you. Bro. Yeah, it's almost sure. like frustrating because he just doesn't get the joy of eating. It's just like, <laughs> this is <laughs> like you have a shitty cliff bar. <laughs> It actually ties in with what I wanted to do next. I was going to ask the DM um, if I could make an attempted bite attack with my orc fangs against this dumb bitch I'm holding while while retaining uh, the grapple. Um, if not, that's totally cool. I'm going to do it anyways for flavor. You can... Uh, yeah, just roll it as like an unarmed... Okay, 12 misses. Uh, but I will lick the side of her face and just say, I like 
that you're getting feisty. And that's it. Well, you're gonna move her at all? No, I'm gonna hump her. I'm gonna give her like a couple love pumps from behind. Okay. Vemrak's getting real freaky with it. Um, she's gonna look at you and just smile as if whatever's going on is not going on, and just say, "Usually, I get that response. I'm in a different form, but I appreciate it." Um, I usually pay for it. <laughs> she goes, "I usually don't." Um, Arena is gonna attack the same one when that attacked her. Um, she is going to miss. She is gonna hold fast. Um, she's gonna just yell out, like, do you have a plan? Um. We hit them till they're dead. Okay. Uh, Observer, you're up. Okay, I'm moving, and I'm going to Shalala, the near one. Hey, finally! There we go. Alright, critical hit. And on top of that, so that's all magical damage. Um, and because I have symbiotic entity still active, um, she's going to. I'm gonna take. She's gonna take the additional 1d6 uh, necrotic. So let's finish. Roll. Six. So six additional necrotic. So it's 18 total. Uh, 12 magical, 16 necrotic. Or 6 necrotic. Anything else? That is gonna be it. Okay, totally wrap. Uh, so everybody, if they don't have their temporary hit points, gets them back. Um, and I am going to... For my action... Uh, or for my movement, what am I going to do? Eh, I kind of like where I am. Uh, I'm going to Sacred Flame at the one that's in the Moonbeam. Pretty sure. Okay. Hold on, I'm just thinking real quick, sorry. How many spells do I got? Oh, screw that. I'm gonna guiding bolt. Never mind that. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna guiding bolt her. So let's see here. I make a spell attack. Ugh. Hey. So then she's gonna take sixteen radiant damage. God oh, damn. And the next okay. melee attack. And the next attack against her before my next turn will have advantage. Um, okay. As my bonus act, I'm going to attack with the spiritual weapon, because one of these days i got to hit. Oh, I can just attack with the Warhammer. That'll work. And that'll hit. Hey. And that will do... How much damage does this do? It will do 1d8 plus my spell casting modifier, which should be plus 7, so 1d8 plus 7. And that will do 13 uh, force damage. Damn. And That's magical, or no? Yeah, force damage. So it's yes, okay. and that will end my turn. What is the warhammer from? Oh, I was just using it for the it spiritual sword? weapon attack roll because it doesn't have oh, gotcha. the modifier. Gotcha. I should just add a spiritual weapon item in here. I'll do that. So then, that's the end of my turn. Currently reading. Give me one second. Well, she's gonna have to make a con save. 
two even. Um, okay. Uh, so one is normal, that'll be observers. Or excuse me, one is an advantage, that'll be observers. And then... The second will be... Because you like the Normal. Oof. Can't do. Okay, something's fine. And the second one is normal. Damn. Oh, thank god. She'll take half damage. And what's half on that? It will be... Seven radiant damage. Okay. Um. Don't mind this roll. That's it's like wrong. my rolls. That one's wrong. I'm just trying to fix the... So, for her action... This sister here is going to kind of look at the group and say, well, it was fun. And she is going to disappear. The sister here is going to stab the child, throw it into the mill, and then disappear. Morgantha below um, is going to call out and say, take what you like, but I assure you we'll be back. Um, and she is going to disappear. So all three of them have disappeared. I don't... Do any of you have a way of interacting with the ethereal plane? I know the sword is there. How, how would I check that? I doubt that I do. It would just be some type of ability, an inherent ability, a spell, most likely. Um, my only one I could imagine would have it is probably Toto, and I don't know if you do. Uh... Through a spell or some type of... I do... Um, 
So I'm not breaking combat because I don't know what you guys have. I think I do, when, but if nobody else can see, I'm probably more concerned with trying to see if that kid's at all alive still. Just to you do balance the invisibility. You can see and you can see into the ethereal plane. It, hey, does that include my vision? The my blind vision I have? So you you cannot see her. But I can still feel her because I have not let go from a grapple, is that correct? They're on a different plane of existence. So she's no could, longer... Could she have actually done that while I was holding her? That's what I was reading. It's just an action. So if she can do an action, she can do that. Okay. So before... Yeah. So that's what I'm... But before I move on, because I'm not breaking combat... Um, Do I, like, try to catch the child as it's being thrown? Um... The only one that could do anything, but I would say, would be Toto. Because he's right there. Um, we're still functioning kind of within the combat setting. So, I guess my first question is this. Can anyone, or is anyone, going to try and interact or do anything in response to them... Assuming that they're still in combat, they all three enter the ethereal plane. Is anyone doing anything at this point? I mean, I'm going to check the kid. Just at out of reaction, point. I would take an axe swing in front of me, where the woman was. Okay. I assume I'm hitting nothing. You hit nothing. So, they... Okay, so... Um, okay, so I'm going to stop combat then. You guys can move freely. Toto, if are you gonna try and catch the child? Yeah. Okay. Roll something for that. Uh, roll. Uh, let me see. Probably. Athletics. I'm gonna say acro. I'm gonna say it's more dexterity for this one. Okay. I know that sucks, but that's gonna be it's not a huge probably difference. closest. Yeah. A six. Um The child's gonna pretty savagely just kind of hit the so this part here goes up into the ceiling. Um and these are rather large gearing, so it would have been tough for you to even kind of get to him. He's gonna just kind of hit it is a, it's like a young boy. He's gonna hit this sort of gearing here and then kind of just like just land into the, the the mill kind of working here it's not functioning it's not on at this point and obviously the the kid is sort of freaking out and and crying it, it's it's alive um but everyone can move freely now arena is going to move up but she will take have... down the circle yeah so that's something you can do at a quick speed concentration I can just move it. Okay. <laughs> so Arena's going to run up and climb and just be like, oh my god, oh my god. Um, we'll just assume you have your sword, but she can be here. And be like, can someone I'll, can I'll, someone help him? I'll, I'll, give, him good, I'll give him a good very. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that, that does help. Um, let me see if I have a token. He gets one HP. Be like here, here you go, little buddy, and just pat him on the top of his head. I'll kill him for seven. Okay. Um. So I never know how to do these things. It's like someone gets stabbed, and then it's like I heal him for seven. Okay. Um. So he's <laughs> fucked up still. Um. But he's not dying and he feels much better. However, let's say that this child is like young, maybe like three years old, like very small still. Um, and so, yes, you guys can do as you wish. You can move up, move down, move where you'd like. Go ahead and do a medicine check and just... Wow, 
That was not great, but um, uh, it seems like this blade or the it, it, the child would heal. It's just going to take some time. Um, he's not currently dying or bleeding out, um, but did just get stabbed. So there's, you know, going to be issues for a while in general. I'm trying to Could get we, downstairs. Okay. Could we pause here? Because it's getting really, really late for me. Yeah, we can do that. I can um, write up a... Uh, just because right I want to do more stuff here, but I'm looking at the clock. Um, yeah. It's, oh, wow. I didn't realize how late it was. And then I guess... For you. The only question I have is depending on, like... My intent would be to quickly search the upper room and if I need to drag my moonbeam around while I still have a couple seconds left on it because um, I've probably got like 45 seconds of moonbeam left so like I don't want to give it up but it's a very short thing if that makes sense yeah um, in terms of like trying to like stave them off or basically well I can I just want to note that like well, I'll have it for like okay. a flash gotcha. at the beginning of next session. So if you just want to leave okay, it there, gotcha. I can use it. Yeah. Same with spiritual so, weapon, because they both last okay. for a minute. Yeah. Okay, cool. Look at Chatner getting revenge, because we were going to beat his hags just like we beat his other dumb <laughs> mini <laughs> hey, um Well, they're supposed to behave in certain ways, you know. So. What HP did you give me? It's breaking up. Nine. Right above. You see where I cast that? Thank you. Oh. Well, I think I'm going to go pass out, guys. Thank you. Have a good night. See you, bud. Pretty bullshit there, uh, Shatner.